It may look like I'm at a lumber yard, but I'm actually in a parking lot at Upper Dublin High School. These are just some of the trees that have been cut down and stacked up from that tornado damage a week ago. And for residents nearby, it's much of the same story. Lawn after lawn, it seems like deja vu when you go up and down the streets here in Upper Dublin a week after a tornado devastated this area. Uh, a total of 19, I have 11 large and 8 small trees that came down. Suzanne Alfonso has lived at this home for nearly 30 years. The issue besides the downed trees themselves is now the lack of available tree removal services. Well, they're finally here today and it happened last Wednesday, so it took a week um, and I understand. Alfonso says her bill is well over $10,000 for the tree removal, and she thinks that's a bargain. I've heard of some people had three trees taken down down the street, and it cost them 20 grand. I think there's been some scammers out there. We're just asking everyone to be really diligent. Rebecca Lohoffer Mahome is the communication coordinator with Upper Dublin Township. She says the county is offering free curbside pickup of debris starting tomorrow. And they're going to be pulling out vegetative debris from the front 15 feet of each property. So they're just going to be sweeping the affected areas um, and getting that vegetative debris out, out of there. All of a sudden, there was a big loud bang. Uh, a tree came down near our swimming pool. Just around the block from Suzanne Alfonso, 38-year resident Dan Brandriff is still cleaning up his yard. He had some 20 trees taken down by the tornado. He's hoping FEMA, who was in Upper Dublin surveying damage, will issue grant money in the county to help residents. But for now, he just misses his trees. Kept the house cool in the summer. You know, it protected us from a lot of wind in the winter. You know, it was, they were used, very useful. Alfonso has advice for anyone looking for tree removal assistance. Do your homework and watch out for scammers. Get somebody you know to, you know, check reviews. That's what we did to make sure it's a trusted source. So if you have a mini version of this in your yard, make sure to head to UpperDublin.net. That's where you can find out how to get assistance. And if FEMA will grant any assistance here, they will make that announcement on that website as well. In Upper Dublin, Marcus Espinoza, Fox 29 News.